Alright guys, welcome back to a new video. And today I'm gonna show you guys how you can design this code's uh, UI frame. Check out our store, gfxcomment.com. We have so many assets for you to choose from. Unlimited access right here. Get access, as you can see. First of all, uh, new layer. We're going to grab our rectangle tool, add some corner radius of 10 or so should suffice. We're going to create our base shape. All right, now we're going to change the color. So I'm going to select this nice gray color for the background. All right, now I'm also going to add some blending options. I'm gonna add a stroke and we're gonna make this, I think two pixels is gonna work, be nice silver color grayish color we're gonna hit okay and now we're going to grab our text tool and type out codes uh personally for me i will make this blue 32 align by the center and place this right here now i'm going to add a gradient overlay right here and change the angle to 90. I'm trying to get a nice gradient scheme. Go here. I'm gonna go for this right here. I'm gonna hit okay. And I'm also going to add a stroke, make the color black. All right, so here is our title, which is fun. Now I'm gonna copy our text and move the effects. So it goes right here in the trash icon. And grab our text and make the font size 20. I'm gonna change the font weight to medium. And now we will start typing follow at name here. Name here <laughs> on Twitter to read theme special items. And now we're gonna change the color of the text. Go make the font size. I'm going to try 16 so it's right in the center. And I'm also going to right click, copy layer style, paste, and hide the gradient overlay so we only have the shadow basically. And readjust, reconfigure the alignment of these text items. All right, now we're going to add a new layer and uh, hold alt click right here to grab the color for our code input field. This will go right here. And for this, we are gonna add a stroke as well. Uh, perhaps we can make this like not so dark. Okay, and also inner shadow with the color white. This will be our input field. And now we're just going to copy our text and type enter code here. And once again, I am going to turn down the strength of the stroke color. That is much more ideal. Okay, uh, now I'm just going to copy the rectangle and use this to create my button right here. I'm going to remove the effects and start applying a gradient overlay. Go for screen color. Boom. And a nice stroke. Copy this text over. Nice little arrow symbol. This will just go right here. And now we have the X button. We're gonna use our ellipse tool. We create the shape. We're 
we're going to add a security overlay and also a stroke we could go position inside okay and we're going to take this text next here all right to finalize this ui i'm going to add a half tone pattern this will go right here clipped inside our base frame right here going to hit ctrl i to inverse the color i'm gonna go right click and rasterize rasterize layer use my eraser and modify this texture according to what i want which is something like this and we could also if you want you could add some a little more extra stuff like this right here it's not important but <laughs> i suppose you can all right and here it is our finished result if you guys found this video helpful make sure to drop a like down below i hope to see you guys next time